Gravity Nerds, DIY volume kits specifically designed for your garage woody. Hey, I'm Kevin with Gravity Nerds, and today I thought I'd do a quick video on a question that I don't see discussed too often in the uh, DIY volume community, and that's this. How do you add texture and paint to your volumes? Or more specifically, should you add texture and paint to your volumes? Is it possible that leaving your volume untextured and unpainted is the right thing to do? Well, maybe. I'm here to present um, a couple pros and cons of both techniques so uh, you can decide what you wanna do with your DIY volumes. So um, here we go. Let's talk about uh, the first point on why you might possibly want to leave your volumes unpainted and untextured. And that first reason is laziness. Just kidding. There's no such thing as a lazy rock climber or at least a lazy DIY rock climber. Um, but one thing that we all are is busy, right? So you might not have gobs of free time to sit around and apply layer after layer of treatment to your volumes. Um, instead, you just want to climb, right? So leaving them untextured and unpainted is certainly going to save you a lot in the time department. And time is money after all. You know, the other thing that's money, money. Money is money, so uh, it's going to save you cost uh, associated with, with uh, producing your volumes. Um, whether you're making these from the kits you purchase from Gravity Nerds or you're making these from, uh, from scratch at home, uh, paint is expensive. Um, the grit that you're going to put on these is expensive. Uh, the stuff I like, this uh, 80 grit aluminum oxide blasting media, um, this thing is 25 bucks and it's also way too much. You could actually uh, texture 80 volumes with this much, but this is the minimum quantity that I could buy on Amazon. Um, now, Gravity Nerds has solved that problem for you maybe a little bit by uh, offering what we call the Grit Kit. So it's an optional add-on with all of our volume kits, and what we send you is a bottle of wood glue, a bottle of paint, and a little bag of your uh, aluminum oxide blasting grit um, at a much lower cost than what you could buy these things uh, individually, uh, mostly due to that volume quantity, right? And also because um, I get it in bulk and then uh, pass the savings on to you. Um, so anyhow, uh, we have an instructional video on exactly how we use these things to uh, get a nice professional looking finish on our volumes, and that's linked down below. You should check that out if you're curious. But um, anyway, adding texture to, to a number of volumes, uh, it's going to add some expense. So that could be a reason to skip it. Another reason um, that you might want to skip texturing and painting volumes is hold stick. So um, what I've seen with uh, climbing walls and then also volumes that are painted with no texture is that the holds will stick to them. And when you go to clean those holds, um, you have to rip them off there. And sometimes they'll rip some of the paint off with them. Um, and that's a real pain, right? You just spent all this time to make your climbing wall look awesome. And then you strip it the first time and the holds rip off a bunch of paint. Not what you want, right? Um, that doesn't happen on plywood. So the maintenance issue with bare plywood can actually be uh, a good bit less than a painted surface. Um, speaking of maintenance, with a bare plywood surface, uh, you get what I look at as um, the patina of effort on a bare plywood surface. And uh, what that means is um, on a plywood woody, you're gonna get uh, kind of this layer of like shoe rubber and climbing chalk and sweat. And it just, it kind of looks cool, right? It's like training has happened effort has happened on this woody. And uh, when I see um, uh, someone's climbing wall and it looks like that, it's like, whoa, sweet, these people are hardcore. So um, anyway, maybe that's something that, uh, that you like or, or maybe you think that's gross and you'd probably be right. Um, painting could, could help avoid that. So let's talk about some of the benefits of, of painting and texturing your volumes, because there are some really great benefits. For the first one is that um, you might just like the look of, of colorful, bright volumes. And if you just like the look of it better, awesome. You win the argument right there, and you should spend the time and energy to do it. Um, I like bright volumes, not gonna lie. My garage where my uh, woody is located is kind of cold, it's kind of dark, so seeing the bright climbing holds, the bright volumes, uh, it gets me psyched and, and I just like it. So if that's you, uh, then awesome, you should uh, go ahead and, and paint and texture your volumes. Um, another reason to add that texture and paint is to use your volumes as macros. And when I say macros, what I mean is uh, you're going to use the volume itself as a climbing hold. You're going to be putting your hands and feet on the surface of the volume to actually climb. Um, 
In another setting, maybe like a commercial climbing gym or a community climbing space where you tend to have more vertical walls, um, I think you're gonna see this a lot more. So you could set friction problems where, yeah, you're using that as a sloper and you're stepping on that thing and, uh, and that's part of the climbing. Um, my home woody is set at 30 degrees and maybe yours is even steeper, 45 degrees. And at that angle, man, I'm definitely not using these things as slopers. Um, I'm, I'm just not that strong. Um, We've got a couple other volumes here. This one behind me uh, has 90 degree corners. So yeah, maybe at 30 degrees, I could probably hang on to that. Um, this thing at 30 degrees, yeah, good luck, not me. Um, so anyway, I don't care nearly as much about the friction coefficient on my, I had to think about that one for a second, the friction coefficient on my volumes at that steeper angle. Uh, I'm not setting friction problems, right? I'm not smearing on this with my toe um, on, my, on my home woody. Now, um, your mileage may vary with that issue, but uh, if that's the case and your home woody is steeper, then it's possible that you're way less worried about uh, the friction on, on the surface of this thing. So if that's the case, um, maybe you don't need to spend all the time and energy to um, put that, put that uh, treatment on there. Um, it's just something that you have to think about for yourself. If you um, want to use the volume as a thumb catch, and that's another spot where that the friction does matter. I'm actually grabbing onto that volume. Maybe I've got a hold right there and I want to want to use that as a thumb catch right there. Well, if you really want to do that and you have a bare plywood volume, you could just add a screw on right there. So now you can have that thumb catch in the location where it needs to be. I don't know. That's just a potential way to, to solve that issue. So anyhow, it's possible that you could leave your volumes unfinished and save yourself a lot of time and energy in the, in the process of creating them. Ask yourself this, if you have a home woody, did you leave your woody surface unfinished? And a lot of people do, and they're perfectly happy with the way that surface works in their climbing context. So if that's you, maybe you could skip all the painting steps. If you do wanna go for that professional finish, bright, colorful volumes, awesome. Gravity Nerds has the grit kit and that can get you a long way towards achieving that. You certainly don't need to buy our grit kit. There's nothing magical about those ingredients. And if you watch the instructional video there, um, you'll see how you can do all that stuff without purchasing a single thing from Gravity Nerds. And if you're motivated to do that, then I encourage you to, uh, to do so. Well, anyway, I'm Kevin with Gravity Nerds. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear your opinions on this topic. You can leave them in the comments down below. And uh, I hope to see you sometime out at the crags. Come visit gravitynerds.com to check out all our DIY volume kits and useful information.